Hey, got something easy for dinner. Great. Paddy's covering the surgery this afternoon, so I thought we could take the rest of the day off. Oh, does he not need me on reception? Well, no, he's only got a few phone consultations booked in, said he could manage. I thought maybe we could go on a walk or take a picnic upstairs, recreate nine and a half weeks. Don't worry, it's a dodgy old film. And actually, on second thoughts, I'm not sure Lydia would be best pleased if we'd stain the sheets with strawberries. Well? Sorry, um, I need to go home later. I've got to pick all my stuff up and tell them all. You're letting them know, not asking their permission. There's a big difference. But it's still going to be horrible. Sorry. You two having a tiff? No, not that it's any of your business. Are you going to come back home tonight? I know things were said, but we're family. We stick together. I've not forgotten that, Sammy. Don't rush in this time. He cheated on his wife. And what if he goes back to it again? It was really hard for him to end his marriage. But he chose me and my for keeps. I'm moving in for good now. So they're not our kind of people. So they just use folk like us. And we're worth ten of them. He's just a spoilt little rich kid. And he'll get bored of you. What was that, Sam? It was nothing. He's just been a protective big brother. Look, I care about your sister. OK, and I won't have you or any of her family trying to manipulate her. Me? Take a look at yourself. I mean it, Sam. I won't stand by and see her get hurt. The only one who's going to do that's you. She can't see that right now, but we can. Sammy, just apologise. What have I got to be sorry for? I'm looking out for you, telling it how it is. No, you're not. You're offering your opinion, which is unsolicited and wrong. Come on. He just spoke out a turn. You know he's not good with words. Well, he seemed pretty articulate when he was character assassinating me earlier. You think you're better than us. Like there's some nobility in poverty. You're just a bunch of petty criminals, so don't you dare try and take the high ground with me. Nate should have given you a good kick in, never mind your poxy car. Nice. You're not good enough for my sister. You're married with a kid and you're a liar and a cheat. She can do way better than that you. That is enough. I'm happy. Why can't you accept that? You keep falling for these posh boys, but they've got no spine and they just they just mess you up. Why have you got such a chip on your shoulder? Because one minute it's Andrea and the next minute it's our bell. You, you don't know what you want. I made a mistake, OK, but I put things right. You broke her heart. Now you're trying to turn her against her own family. Look, Bell is an adult, but none of you seem to see that. She can make her own decisions, can't you? What happens when he gets fed up here, like he did Andrea? I won't stand by and watch. So don't, then. Look, nobody's forcing you to work here, Sam. If you don't like it, you know what you can do. In fact, you know what? Go on, get out. You're fired. Now we see your true colours. Don't like hearing the truth so he gets rid and he'll do the same to you next. Where do you get off talking to us like this? All right. She's just going to let him sack us for standing up to him. You've brought this on yourself, Sammy. Jamie's right, just get out. 